Hi and welcome to Frogster's Gamescom 2011 Terror Dungeon Runthrough. This is a slightly edited version of the hands-on we gave to media at Gamescom this year. My name is Greg Latham and I'm the PR manager for the UK here at Frogster. And with me is Matt Ryder, the English community manager at Frogster. Hey Matt. Hey. So uh, the name of the dungeon is the Necromancy Research Office and it's located in the second continent of terror, Southern Shara. So yeah, as well as being quite dark and ominous, it's uh, also pretty challenging. Yeah, it posed a few players some difficulties at Gamescom, but today we're going to go into a few things that made this one so successful. So let's start off by having a look at our team. First up we have the Baraka Priest who is currently in focus. He's the healer of the group and he's invaluable for a successful dungeon run. Yeah, and second up we have the Papuri Archer who deals a lot of range damage. And then we have the Human Slayer who's in picture now. Uh, the Slayer starts with no mana, but through his basic attacks he can build up his mana reserves to unleash some pretty powerful skills. Yeah, he's a really fun character to play. And fourth up, we have the Kastanic Warrior. She's the tank of the group, and while she wears light armor, her agility makes it really easy for players to maneuver out of the way using the evade key. And last up is our Lady in Blue, the Sorcerer. She has a lot of spells that deal an incredibly high amount of damage. So the warrior in our group is going to have to make an extra big effort to make sure he, he keeps the aggro here so that our Sorcerer can deal her full uh, potential of damage. So we're currently finishing off our second mob, taking out that Kashara Skeleton Lancer. Yeah, with those guys out the way, um, our priests will be healing the group and we'll be moving on to the next room. Yeah, we're going to go through this corridor through the aptly named Chapel of Pain, which isn't ominous at all. Only good things can come from this, surely. Here we go. Ignathal, the boss we faced off against at Gamescom. Uh, the Argons are the main antagonists in the world of terror and Ignathal is one of the bigger Argons in the game or an elite boss uh, as we call him. Yep, he does have a few tricks up his sleeve to make our life pretty difficult. When he's enraged you'll see the veins on his body course blue and he'll lunge at random targets. If you see him coming for you it's really important to evade very quickly and get out of the way. Yeah, one of his special attacks uh, is his sword lunge, where he'll ram his sword into the ground, leaving a pool of magic that will drain you if you happen to run over it. Um, it's very important to watch out for this, as it will do a lot of damage uh, if you get too close. Yeah, and we just saw that behind the warrior just then on the screen. But this fight is going pretty well at the moment. The warrior and the slayer are right in the thick of battle, dealing a lot of damage. And at certain points, it'll be all too much for Ignathol who will drop to his knees. It goes without saying, do as much damage as you can when this happens, because these are great opportunities to take a big chunk of health off of his life. Yeah, you'll notice uh, the charge coming in from the boss. You've got to really get out of the way, retaliate. And um, yeah, that's just one of Ignathol's powerful uh, attacks. It, uh, this is a frost beam. You just notice a massive beam of frost that uh, coming out of him. It's uh, very important uh, to watch out for that. When he's enraged, he will unleash it. It's also interesting to note that when he turns green, it means that he's poisoned uh, by the archer. Yep, and he is just trying one last ditch effort to take down our team, but our priest has done a good job and Ignathol is falling to the ground. That marks the end of our Terror Gamescom dungeon run through. Thanks for watching, and for more information, please visit the Terror Europe website.